For our haircut today, we're going to do a classic side part haircut. And the key for this type of haircut is uh, our client today, he likes to look like um, he hasn't had a haircut and when as it grows in, he, he doesn't like it to look like he needs a haircut. So we're going to have to do a, quite a few different techniques to get it to look like that. So as I spin him slowly, we can see he, this area here um, from two fingers above the ear to the parietal area or the round of the head area, it's extremely thick. So what we have to do is when we layer it in, we have to leave ourselves enough room. We don't want to cut it too short. We're going to use a combination of texturizing shears and razor cutting. So we're going to do a lot of razor sculpting on his haircut so it grows in. It's actually been about three or four, two or three months since he's had his last haircut. So you can see the flips are starting. So what the razor does and what thinning it out does is it takes a lot of that bulk out of there so it really helps it to hold its shape throughout the haircut. So the other thing we have to do to make it look natural, as you can see in the front, uh, again, even though he has very thick hair, there is a, he has a V-shaped hairline. So when we're dealing with a V-shaped hairline, we have to make sure that we over-direct the hair or pull the hair back to where the, uh, the, the recession is on both sides. So we don't wind up cutting a hole in both sides. So we want the hair to look as natural as possible. So we're going to start out with the layer cut portion of the haircut. We're going to pick it up and we're going to cut it in a square shape with our scissor over fingers and we're going to do some scissor over comb around the edges. And then we're going to get into the texturizing techniques and the razor sculpting techniques that really finish it off nicely. And we want the hair longer on top and shorter as we, progressively shorter as we work our way down around the edges. I'm using a traveling guide. I can always see the previous guide in my finger. Actually on top I'm going to switch to the fine teeth of the comb to grab the hair better. And you want the sections really small. So if the sections are really small you're not going to miss any hair and it's going to be extremely even and it's going to, you're going to avoid the need for cross checking. So the idea is you want to do everything correct the first time and that's where your efficiency, I don't like to use the word speed, but that's where your hair cutting efficiency is going to come in. You don't want to have to keep cutting the same section two and three times and keep going over it. So if we do it right the first time, we only have to do it once. So now I'm taking a section to the, off, off to the center on the one side and following my center guide and my traveling guide. And then we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. And now the next step was as we work our way down, and the reason why we're starting on top and working down is because we want to remove all this heaviness here before we go in with our scissor and our comb. Because if we try to go in with our comb like that, it gets lost. So we want to remove quite a bit of that length first. So I like to start in the center. And what I'm going to do, because he has right here is where his pivot is. It's kind of, it's, it's low. Some people, their pivot or their crown is higher, some are lower. So when you're dealing with a low pivot, what I like to do is over direct away from it. I don't like to cut right on it because it's going to be too short and it's going to stick out. So by over directing away from it, it leaves it longer and it's not going to stick up. So I'm taking very small sections and I'm going to work my way forward. And you can either move your feet or spin the chair. So my general rule when I'm doing this is I take two sections and I either move my feet or I spin the chair. Because if you don't do either, you're going to start reaching and you're going to start wind up down here. It's because you want your section to even. You don't want it going down this way. So we're following along with our, our sections and you can see that the traveling guide, you can see it right there. So when you're taking very small sections, you can very easily see your guide. If your sections are too wide, you can't see your guide. So that's an indication your sections are too wide and the haircut's not going to be even. Are you a member of HowToCutHair.tv? Learn the art of men's barbering from third generation master barber Greg Zorian in full HD, 24-7, from anywhere in the world. Sign up for your free membership and learn how to increase your efficiency and make more money behind the chair. HowToCutHair.tv
I'm holding the comb at a 45 degree angle into the hair, into the hair, towards the head. And what that does is you can see that lifts the hair versus doing it the other way and it's just pushing the hair and it's hard to grip the hair. Now the way to do that is to hold the comb with your thumb on the bottom, your pointer finger on top, your middle, your middle finger, the first crease on the comb, and I'm not turning my wrist at all, my wrist is still. I push with my thumb and I pull back with my middle finger. That's it, that's your range of motion. And then one of the tricks around the ear that where there's all that hair around the ear, we comb down and we hold the hair, we hold the ear down with the comb and we round the comb. Okay, and then the rest we'll get with our trimmer or our adjustable clipper when we do the semi-finish. So now we're just gonna work our way around the head shape. Now when I say take an imaginary line straight up in the air, there's our guide and we're going to take an imaginary line straight up until we run out of hair and that's how we avoid leaving a weight line that we have to blend out. And this is a lot easier than putting attach taking the attachments on and off a clipper. So we're going to comb the hair down and we're going to lift it to the side because it's, again, it's all growing in a, uh, to the, from right to left here. Now we don't want to taper up and in, we just want to taper on the hairline. So I want the base of the comb at the hairline and that's when I'm going to rotate at 45 degrees. Because this is a fuller haircut. So we don't want to go up and in and have, a, have a, a regular haircut, so to say, with a real deep taper. We want it natural. And if you have a difficult time getting it this way, we can always pull the comb down at that same 45 degree angle and pull the hair down this way. And we're going to get the same effect. And then once you get that excess uh, weight removed, then we can go in with the open blade. So just like I did with the comb, lifting it and rotating it, I'm doing the same thing with the blade. I'm lifting and rotating to the side, but always at that 45 degree angle that I want. So now I'm gonna close the blade down halfway and go up and stop. Now all the way. And where we have some of these long ones here, we're gonna use a freehand technique. And just clean those up. Now if you notice, the, I'm cutting in a horizontal, holding the comb horizontally. It's the same way I picked it up with my fingers. And after I make a few cuts, I comb it just to make sure that it's doing what I want it to do. It's combing back nicely. Now the reason why I'm moving the comb fast is because I don't want to take too much hair out. I can always go back and take more. So then we comb it down. If it looks good, leave it. If you see a little more heaviness, then you can go back again. Keep moving the comb quickly, just so we don't take too much. And then on this side, I'm going to rotate the comb this way. So this is sculpting in that top layer where it gets the so thinning shears thin out on both sides. Now, just because this top layer is kind of thick, I just want to um, scrape away or sculpt away some of that top layer. And when I comb through it, you'll see the difference. So now it just lays in there just right. And that big wave he had in the back here in the beginning is gone. So even for what a lot of people would just call a regular haircut, 
I mean, to me, there's no such thing as just a regular haircut. Everybody's hair is different. And even though this is your classic side part, you know, we have w different waves and different densities that we're dealing with. And each one has to be uh, cut accordingly. Introducing Zorian of New York, premium grooming products for the modern man. Designed by third generation master barber, Greg Zorian. Made in the USA and not tested on animals, each of our styling products is infused with natural ingredients and features light, clean fragrances. Our two-in-one shampoo and conditioner is sulfate and paraben free and color safe. Do you own a barber shop or salon, rent a chair or run a school? Find out how we support our retailers with world-class barbering education and product knowledge training. We're currently accepting applications for wholesale accounts and invite you to apply on our website, Zorian of New York. We're gonna finish off the haircut uh, just right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with our Zorian of New York Firm Hold Gel. This is a 100% alcohol-free gel, no flakes. And what this is gonna do is we're gonna put a small amount in our client's hair and then we're gonna blow dry it all into place. So that's gonna, that's gonna hold the shape. Then we're going to take a very uh, light uh, holding cream. It has a little bit of coconut oil, which adds moisture and just a little bit of shine. And that's going to, um, that's going to hold it the rest of the day, going to give it a nice finish. So we're going to use the two products. Uh, and so we're going to show you how to use that. So first, we're going to take just a drop of gel, just about that much. You want to rub it in your hands, good, emulsify it in your hands, good. And we want to use our fingertips first and get it through the hair. And then we're going to use our hair dryer with a vent brush. Now I like to use a hair dryer with a uh, nozzle on it because it really directs the heat and uh, directs the hair right into place. So what that gel and hair dryer helps us do is to really dry the, that wave out and where it wave and dip down, it allows us to um, straighten that wave out and lift the hair up so it looks more symmetrical. So we get the, sh the exact shape that we want with the gel. And then we're going to take a little bit of our grooming, a little bit of our grooming cream, about that much. And we want to emulsify it in our hands until it's basically clear. And you want to take it in your fingertips and just lightly go through it. 
And then at this point, the client has a choice. He can leave it looking loose like this, or if he looks like some more professional look, then we can go back through with the vent brush. So this, especially when the hair is dry, the, uh, the Zorian of New York grooming cream, it's water soluble. So it's going to, um, if, the, if the hair is damp when you put it in, it's gonna loosen the hold. So the drier the hair, the better. And it also is gonna leave a drier looking finish. Not everybody likes a wet, shiny finish. And it's a great product for dry, coarse hair. Now, as I'm brushing through the hair, I still have the cream on my hand. So as I'm smoothing it over, especially on the sides, Okay, and that, that gives it that extra lift. So just for a quick review, to style the uh, side part haircut, to give it that extra lift so it just doesn't lay, lay flat and look boring, we, we style it first with a gel and we dry it to give it that lift and straighten out the waves. Because not everybody's hair just does this automatically. It takes a little bit of work. Um, so the hair dryer and the gel does that. And then we just finish it off. We top it off with the grooming cream with the coconut oil with a little bit of moisture. And as long as we put it in when the hair is completely dry, it's going to give it just a low shine and a little bit of extra hold. So we're going to spin them around a little bit here so you can see what that does, that extra touch with the styling. If you take a close look at that outline, the outline really makes the shape of the haircut stand out. And there we have it, a nice classic side part haircut.